Fifth is put your hand on out uh, so that your palm touches the punching bag. Keep your shoulders square so you're not swiveled one way or the other. And then make a couple of fists. Just like with the air punches, then drop that first fist out of the way and let that back fist fly. Now, of course, we want it to go in a straight, uh, straight line, just like an arrow. And what we're going to do is we're going to teach ourselves how to release the punch using this drill. So the punching bag is essentially going to become like a catcher's mitt for our punch. So we're not worried about hitting it very hard. We're not worried about anything except technique and releasing the punch. This punching bag that I have here is uh, filled with stones. It's filled with aquarium stone to be specific. But what I'd recommend is start with something a little softer like rice or uh, soybeans. Fill it up good and full as, as much as it'll hold. Then move on to sand once your hand, uh, once your hand can take a thousand punches without, uh, without any serious impact. Move on up to sand and once you can do a thousand punches with sand, uh, you should go ahead and move on up to these stones. And one of the things we're doing here is applying Wolf's Law. What that says is essentially the bone density is going to improve as we uh, continue to condition our hands. Let's move on now to the follow along section. So I'm going to do the punches here at a regular speed and I'm going to ask you to just follow along do this until you can do, oh, I don't know, a thousand or so without too much problem. And then it's a good indication that uh, you can move on up to the next bag. Now, with the, the speed I want to talk about a little bit here is every um, uh, weapon or every tool, uh, in the case of a hammer is a good one I like to use, every tool has its own maximum efficiency tempo where if you go too fast you're not delivering enough power and if you go too slow you're wasting time. So think of a carpenter on a, on a rooftop in the summer. All the professional carpenters are hammering at exactly the same pace. Why is that? It's because this tool has a, a perfect tempo to deliver the right amount of power and all the professional carpenters do this. What I'm showing here in this demonstration is the tempo for this weapon that we call a punch. If you punch too quickly, you can't deliver or release all of your energy into your opponent. And if you punch too slowly, you're wasting time and they'll likely punch you back. And just keep in mind that if you see any redness or any other type of injury, uh, you should really stop until that gets uh, completely healed up. What I'd like to do now is move on to uh, the common mistakes section. There's uh, quite often people will say, hey, uh, you know, what are some of the more common things that happen that, uh, that people do when they're just starting? So I'd like to move on and show you a few of those. Again, we're going to measure and here it comes. We're going to have a little bit of fun with this. The first one is standing too close to the bag, uh, what we call chuck you. So your your punch is a little bit jammed up and can't deliver all the power that you want. Naturally, the opposite of that, uh, you know, if you're standing too far away from the bag, uh, you're going to have some trouble as well. You won't be able to deliver the force you need for the single knockout punch. Don't uh, chop your punch. Uh, clearly, I'm exaggerating a little bit here, but uh, gonna have a little bit of fun. No back fisting. So keep those elbows down and drive the fist forward with the back fist. Don't worry about punching too hard. Don't worry about trying to uh, really pound that bag. Just throw the punch and let it catch it. Don't lean forward. Stay in your stance and when you connect with the punch you should feel it in your heels. So don't lean forward. Don't be too aggressive with that bag. Don't be just trying to punch it any old way you can. Make sure you focus on your technique and keep things um, and keep things clean. Don't punch too softly. We do want to throw a baseball and have it land in that glove, so don't uh, punch too softly. And the other thing when you're punching, don't rotate the shoulders or the hips. So we want to keep the shoulders square and just focus on the punch and feeling the connection of the fist all the way down into the heels. 
And I'm going to redo these uh, common mistakes. This time's a little bit subtler. And what I'd like you to do is just watch this video, watch my fist, and try to point out, try to figure out for yourself what exactly am I doing wrong. And this is going to help you in your training so that you can identify 